Hello and welcome back to the channel. We are staring at the start of Pike's Peak Hill Climb in the 370Z comp car. So we're going to be taking today the first half of this grip versus drift on Pike's Peak. We're going to be going up the hill in the Z. I haven't ridden this hill in the Z or drifted it. So this is the first time run out. Then we're going to be taking another car up the hill in another episode. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. All of which are found in the description box below. So, Pike's Peak, Hill Climb, 370Z Drift Car, let's do it. I have no idea what to expect, other than trying not to fall off the edge. Oh, that's gonna be bad if we don't save that. We saved it. So we're good on that. So it's kind of like the uh, Trenton Madone challenge that I was doing. This time it's a little bit different. It's on Pikes Peak Hill Climb. And I absolutely do not know this road. Oh, we're going dirt. Oh, we saved it though. Somewhat. Trying to enter these turns way too fast, I think. So I have absolutely no practice going up this hill right now. I've ridden this hill once or twice in Dirt Rally, but I do not remember this course at all. I have no track map. We're just kind of going off the seat of our pants right now. Trying to make sure we don't go too far over the edge and end up uh, wrecking the car. Ooh. A lot of flowy Flowy turns. <gasps> As I said, we come up to air pin and we almost lose it, but we managed to somehow lock the brakes up and not kill ourselves. Oh, so if you guys have tried doing Pike's Peak here on a set of Corsa. Or in other games, let me know down in the comment section down below because, like I said, I've done this in Dirt Rally a few times. Man, these turns get a lot tighter than I think they do. And unfortunately, not making this flawlessly in the drift car. And I'm not sure how we're going to do in the other car in the next portion of this in the grip challenge. No! We would have already wrecked this car and probably killed this car if this were real life. Getting some of the tighter bits. A little left of braking. Manage our speed. Trying to use a lot less handbrake because we don't need it in some of these turns. Just use the brakes. Clutch kick that. Just dipping some front tires in the dirt, sand, whatever it is. This is definitely a challenge when you don't know what is up ahead of you. And we could cheat by having a track map and everything on, but what fun is that? And I guarantee you I will not remember any of this for the grip portion. Man, this road would be pretty sweet if you could memorize this road and throw some tandems on it. I know they do have a downhill section on this road as well, so we may do some uh, 
downhill portions on Pike's Peak as well. I know this is definitely going to get tighter. Managed to uh, definitely pull that turn out of a squeak. Just a little dip, not a big deal. I will leave the link to the track down in the comment section down below. Oof. Definitely needed a comp powered car of about, about 800 and some horsepower because I feel like the street power cars would not be able to take these turns Ooh, as well as this car is. Yeah, and don't dip your tire in the dirt. Oh man, that's rough. And don't dip your tire in the dirt because the car does not like it. Or go in that sewer drain or whatever that was. I can officially say this is probably the first time I've ever tried to drift up Pike's Peak. This track does not like dipping any tires off the track, so gotta keep all four on the pavement. We're not doing too terrible. A few mishaps in the beginning and we're starting to get the flow. Is that it? Did we actually make it? I think we did. Get to the section with the little lock, little blocks. I'm gonna keep going though because there's still more road and more summit to get to. Not too too familiar with Pike's Peak or how actual far this is, but apparently we're still going. But we got this. Just roasting these Z tires in third gear right now. Kick it into fourth. I don't know, but I think my car might be losing some power going uphill. Oh, I was not even at full power. There's a little parachute parachuter up there. Oh, I'm gonna pause to uh, take a look at that parachuter that's just hanging there. Um, <clears throat> I don't think he can actually just hang there. So we've been doing this on 80% boost. So we kick it up to 100% on the on this higher part of this Pikes Peak run. Then again, once you get higher up in the altitude, you do need a little more power, so now we did kick it up to 100% boost, so that helps. It's another little parasailer over there. Oh, stalled that one out on that hairpin. We got it though. If you need to use the bathroom, we're right there. It's a little porta potty on the corner. I feel like we are getting close to the summit here. This is definitely going to be way different in a grip car. And I have the perfect grip car for this track, I feel. If you guys think you know what car I'm going to be using, comment it down in the comment section down below. What grip car do you think I'm going to be using in the... Oh, good thing there's a guardrail there. In the grip portion of this Pikes Peak Grip vs. Drift Challenge. People standing on the edge there. Watch out, guys. Might slide into you, but I'm not in a Mustang, so you're safe. Oh, and this is where we die. <laughs> and this 
is where we die. I don't think we're gonna be able to make it back up. Is this another mountain that's gonna get us? Ah, uh, <laughs> we unfortunately sent it way too hard on this section of the hill. We might be able to get it back up. So we managed to put the car through the... Oh yeah, we're just falling into the abyss. So Pikes Peak 1, Drift Car 0. So make sure you guys join me for the next episode that involves grip and see if we can tackle it on the grip challenge. We're falling into the abyss. Z is just, just falling. <laughs> so I think that'll do it. Make sure you guys follow me on social media. All of which are in the description box below. And as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.